everybody welcome we're doing hedgehogs and blowfish only in the turtle pack so when you start sorry when you end your turn only hedgehogs and blowfish nothing else uh if you you can use whatever food you want anything goes in the shop phase and you are allowed to use a sloth so you know all the normal stuff i guess i'll be freezing ducks because they're probably the best thing to get a combo with and yeah let's see what we can do I might freeze honey as well if i do get a hedgehog i can Try one next turn. If I do get a hedgehog, then I probably do want to give it honey, like ASAP. And let's be the sandwiched fingers. My lovely food dream place. Oh, there's still so many nice backgrounds I don't have. I need to start doing <laughs> dailies. And yeah, that is not a hedgehog, sadly. So we just roll. Shame. Did anyone get to turn one hedgehog? Because that would actually be the dream. The odds are extremely low, but it's possible. Will there be any test server? No, like most people don't like the test server. So when we, whenever we do test server stuff, we always have like a fifth of the people playing. So <laughs> I'd rather not have a 20 person lobby. I do know there was an update a couple of days ago though. But yeah, I'm pretty much just waiting for the test server stuff to come out on live because I, I play too much by instinct. And if they change the pets every time I play, then I'm not going to play well. I will forget what things do and misplay a lot without realizing. So yeah, I'm just waiting until it's kind of set in stone and I'll learn it from there. But hey, tier two, hedgehog time. Or pill spider time, maybe. <laughs> nah, let's find... There we go, found one. All right, so that's all I needed. Okay, early things. Someone did, Boa. Very nice, and it's also very large. Yeah, it's spooky. Couple more. Hmm, okay. Okay, there were no bees. <laughs> I'm safe. Alright, buy one of these, and then we roll for another. Come on. No, where are the others? I'm gonna leave the cupcake. I need... I need more of these. I can't survive with just a single hedgehog. Yeah, like, look at this. <laughs> Hedgehogs everywhere. And this was last turn. Yeah, no, that's very spooky. Okay. Challenge. Wait, I'll do it when I finish my next turn. It's a draw, thankfully. Ooh. Okay, another hedgehog. Great. I'm just going to immediately buy this. And a blowfish. Okay, I'm safe-ish. <laughs> Not very safe, but ish. And you know what? I actually may throw that to the front. Because if I leave it behind these, it's almost definitely just going to die to blowfish spam. And I don't know if you'd even get the snipes off. So, yeah, do it that way. And start finishing the title. Don't they have wild hedgehogs where you live? They do, actually. I haven't seen any for a long time. Until, like, it's about a month ago, I think. It's weird, because I remember when I was a kid, we'd sometimes get them in our garden. And you'd see them on, like... Well, honestly, you'd see them more as roadkill than anything, but... Yeah, you, you would see them fairly often. And then I hadn't seen any for, like, years, and that was kind of sad. This, though, is not very sad. And I don't think I combine. I think I at least keep two of these, so I'm going to garlic a second one, and then I may combine that in there to maybe do some buy-selling, but... Yeah, this is a very good-looking team, so I'm happy. You duck sometimes in the garden? That's kind of cool. We used to get um, frogs and newts, because there's this pond that's pretty close to us. It's like six houses down the road or something, so I've never actually seen it, but I've heard that there is a fairly big pond. And uh, yeah, they used to crawl through everyone's gardens and get to ours, and they'd like hide under rocks and stuff. That was kind of cool, but yeah, we don't have those same rocks in the gardens. I haven't seen any for a while. Another hedgehog, don't mind it. I think I'm just going to stack this one. Yeah, just stack that. <laughs> I don't know whether I just keep all the blowfish like separated. Maybe I don't do any buy selling. Because I guess Sony cow is really good for in this pack. And cat, and maybe mammoth. But yeah, I think I actually just lock in. I think this is the team. I think I just keep it. I do really want to get these leveled up. Because having a single high level blowfish is um considerably better than a lot of smaller ones. But... I don't know, the number of times I played this sort of 
challenge thing before and i just haven't found more blowfish and i've got to like turn 15 with a single blowfish and a whole team of hedgehogs is just too high <laughs> oh yeah they don't have garlic nice cool Yo, an XRB, congrats. Turn 27 win for the birds only lobby. GG's, GG's. Another blowfish, excellent. Um, I'm gonna leave apple and thing there. I could buy canned food, but it's not that great. I'll buy one, I guess. Yeah, I'd rather find these, because... As long as I keep pumping stats into one place, then it's fine. But I can always buy a new blowfish on here or here, or a new hedgehog on there, and I do get some value for the can, so... Assuming I don't um, combine anything together, which I'm not planning to, then I could get some value out of that. Ooh, that's a pretty similar team. I think I'm going to win just because of the honey. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Right, so oh, I have to buy it. Okay, we buy Salad Bowl. That's not that bad. And I'm just going to keep rolling. I, ooh. Yeah, no, I'm going to freeze that. I need to get stats. It's like one of the more important things. Loving this is huge, but yeah. Can't just leave stats behind for virtually no reason. The honey difference is so funny. I, it, it used to be a massive thing, and it probably still is, but... Yeah, this is like my memories of when we first started doing hedgehog, hedgehogs and blowfish only. There'd be a ton of hedgehogs, and it was just whoever had the most honey at the start. <laughs> I think I just got lucky to find so many blowfish and garlic because they can actually survive a lot of the um, hedgehog spam at the start. Ooh, they're kind of big. Yeah, this is a loss, I think. Same issue. Like, <laughs> this time they have more honey than me. Alright, that's fine. That is okay because I do have a level up now. Um, buy this. So I've won this default stat, so <laughs> kind of happy with that. Oh, cow! I genuinely think the cow is very important. That is four HP on this guy. Like that is that is very significant. I may combine those next turn. I'm gonna buy the chocolate first because if I can find a cat or something, then insane. But yeah. I think if I can get this this one thing very, very large, then I think that can win fights by itself. And let's have a little scroll through. It's interesting where people place things. Like, a handful of people have frontline blowfish, and I'm wondering how that works. Maybe it makes sense to have them further back if they're lower level. Because I want this one to get hit by spam. But the other ones may be actively bad for me if they go against other high-level ones. So I don't know. Alright. Keep you for now. I am probably going to buy it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to buy it. <laughs> uh, staking the front line. Unlikely to help me out that much. I'm just going to roll it. Also won't do anything with that. Another blowfish is cool. Um, I'll leave sushi. Leave sushi, and then next turn I think I just like do that, buy sell two cows, then end on another blowfish. If I had another buy sell, then I think I could do that as well, but yeah, no guarantees that one of those is going to show up. You don't think it makes much of a difference in placement, mostly RNG of who targets who? Yeah, kind of true. Again, like if you end up in a blowfish fight where there's a level 2 blowfish versus a level 1 one, then you could take a lot more damage than you do back, and that can cause a big problem. This is kind of sad. I was like, slightly too small to be able to trade with the large one. Oh god, okay. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things I want to do here. I think this is very important, so I'm going to start with that. And then I think I just buy sell everything. Yeah, I'm going to run a four squad. I think it's important, so do that. Ooh, wait, so do I go for the level three cow? I get a bit more value out of that. Okay, buy that raw. Uh, <laughs> could mushroom this. It's not bad. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so next turn I combine that blowfish into here probably, and then I triple stack cow. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, let's hope that works out then. Yo, I think I'm fine here. No, he has a lot more HP than me. I don't know. I guess there's a lot of summons. If I can kill the resummoned hedgehog, and I do, yeah. Alright, nice. Okay. Combine. Don't buy all at once. We do need to buy milk in between. I've made that mistake before. Alright. I wish a cat had shown up, because then I could have sold cow and had cat better milk, but still. Very, very good. I'm going to give one to you. And then we run the four squads. A very, very strong four squads. <laughs> okay. Run it this way. It probably doesn't make a difference, but I feel like this is kind of pleasing to look at. But yeah, this guy is almost definitely going to die to Hedgehog Spam, because he takes four damage from my one alone, so probably not going to be alive for very long. Down to one heart without ever seeing a blowfish. Oh no. Yeah, I'm too big. Hey. <laughs> I would love to level this guy up again, actually. Getting a level 3 is um, a lot better than level 2. Because each one is effectively doubling the the value you get. I'm just going to buy that. Buy that, buy this. Um, Roll. Keep rolling. I will freeze one of those. I can freeze cat as well. If I find cows or just good stat food, then it's worth it, so... Buying it before I buy the sushi is a an okay play. You keynote. I hope you don't mean that means you like just died or something. <laughs> if you like got keynote, then uh I'm sorry. Yeah, like, look at this. Like single frontline blowfish. It's, just, it's odd. It's, it's like a blowfish sandwich. Or a hedgehog sandwich, I guess, because you usually name it based on the filling. <laughs> Let's say you got. Ah! Okay, good. Wasn't an insult. Thank you. <laughs> I think we need to make Kino this mean a specific thing. Uh, I'm hoping it wouldn't be a bad thing, but I'm down. Okay, hit the cat. Kind of a waste. Uh, let's just sell it again. Sell cat by you. I will try and level the hedgehog, but I don't think it benefits me that much. And I have no idea what to do with this. Like, if I leave him here, then he's just going to die after like one hit from that. So I'm going to leave him at the front. I will finally have a frontline blowfish. And hopefully this one will actually be able to do something. And am I from Brazil? I think you know the answer to that. And I refuse to answer because of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I just love the ping pong. It's so good. Okay, cool. Dark or milk? Dark. Always. 85%. That is where I'm at. Okay. Buy. Buy. Um, stack. Buy. I could have bought like honey for it instead or something, but that's almost definitely getting combined in. Yeah, next time we combine those two and then I buy and pill a mammoth. That's a pretty good way to get some stats. Love it. Is anyone going crazy on the the levels? Yeah, so this guy has a level 3. This person almost has one with a level 2. There's another one here. Yeah, the level 3. Like This this sort of team is the one that scares me the most. Because it's both big and would do double damage to me compared to my own. Yeah, like I don't think I can beat this. It has 30 HP and it's doing 4 damage to snipe. And I'm only doing 2 back max. Oh, it did always die though. It was actually pretty close. Like I couldn't have won, but it was um it was pretty pretty close. Okay. Can buy sell you as well. Alright, so just try and keep this one alive. If I can get it leveled up, then it would mean a lot, thank you. Okay. Oh. Okay, you know what? Leave the sushi for now. I'll keep this frozen, but yeah, I need this thing leveled up. Getting a level on there means just a ton more than everything else. Going from 2 damage to 4 is nuts. I know, like I said, like leveling these things just doubles its damage each time. You know, when everything has garlic anyway. Goes from like 1 to 2 to 4. Which is a significantly better increase than its, you know, <laughs> default 2 to 4 to 6. Just, you know, percentage-wise. 
Um, it's a lot of spam, but I doubt they're going to get past this wall. Yeah. Alright, please give me... They gave me the level, thank you. And now I don't need to hard roll, so... <laughs> yeah, I can maybe freeze both of these and look for pills. And buy those when they show up. But yeah, this guy is going to keep me alive just by himself now. He is going to be very, very good. Your tactic in this is you to get 50 HP ASAP. Yeah, I think the best thing you can do is just have one very large, very high level thing. So this guy is my carry. I wanted to spread it out a bit just because in the early game, I kind of got lucky with finding a lot of these. So I thought I could maybe afford to. But yeah. The only issue with this strat is that if you do get to the end of the game and you suddenly have like a 50-50 blowfish, then, you know, when you buy random food, you're going to be wasting some stats. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, like, there's no way I lose it. Wait, are they... No. I, I thought, like, all of these were going to live somehow, but... <laughs> At least this one did. What is my opinion on eating Brazil? I like their nuts. <laughs> I'm a fan of Brazil nuts. Uh, that's the end of my opinion there. Unfortunate wording, but Brazil nuts are alright. Uh, yes. I am okay. Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's a draw. Uh, yeah, I just need a ton of... <laughs> a ton of stats to be able to do anything about that. And yeah, we'll keep buying these. I'm going to throw this on here because I do feel like this is going to hit the cap kind of soon. So I'd rather... Although it's important to give it more stats, I kind of want to spread it out a bit so I don't hit the cap too early and then start wasting more. What about Hedgehog, Blowfish, and Porcupine? We've done that once. We've done it once, and the only real issue with it is that I have to make a custom pack, and I don't know... I don't know what to put in a custom pack. Like, I don't know whether to throw in um, Lemon as well, or... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a maybe, but like this, this kind of thing is already very delicate in that it doesn't take much for it to just become infinite draws. Hey, okay, there we go. He lives. And we have more chocolate, cool. And I have a pill. I may roll the sushi here. Is that alright? Keep it frozen for two rolls, but yeah, I'd rather roll it. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I did. Okay. Uh, send. Send, and we chocolate you, pill, mammoth, and I still think I have enough gold to buy sell cow. It's all perfect. Did I watch Eurovision? I haven't, actually. And I haven't... I'll be honest, I remember getting, like... I don't know, my math teacher in high school was really into it. And that was basically the only time I'd really heard about Eurovision. And then I saw a load of posts from, um... Like random content creators that I watched recently about it. Otherwise, yeah, I wouldn't have even known. I've never watched it myself. Alright, that's happening. This is happening. This is happening. And yeah, I think we pumped that one. Another roll. Love it. Excellent things. How much how much left? Maybe ten. Bit more than 10. Oh my god, look at these teams! It's like triple level 3 blowfish. Like, mine are a little bit bigger, but my god. <laughs> I don't think I can beat that. Yeah, I need to get this guy leveled up as soon as I can, and then I need to start working on another one. It's in the UK this year, though. I just... I don't watch it. To be honest, maybe I would like it, because I've never... Like, I've literally... It's not a... I hate the idea of it, so I never watch it. I've just... No one in my family watches it, so I never watched it. And I can't really be bothered to. And that is really as far as it goes in my head. You know, Eurovision vlog incoming. Or coming soon, yeah, yeah. Any day now, I promise. <laughs> uh, I'm probably fine here. Oh yeah, I have to be. I think. It may just be a draw, though. Yeah, it's a draw. <laughs> Fate of 
face reveal? No, I do like faceless vlogs. I like point the camera at my feet or something. Or maybe not. I feel like people would be even weirder about that. <laughs> I get chilly. This is no point. Let's keep rolling. Um, I could maybe freeze cats. That's, that's too many cats. Now, I'm debating whether I just keep this blowfish here forever or if I do still combine it in there. Because this is default stats. You know, I bought one cat earlier, so... 4-6 is as small as they're going to get. Feet stream? I... Is that like against TOS? I feel like it might be against... <laughs> against some rules. I wouldn't do it anyway, but yeah. Nino reveal, yeah. Does Kino own pets? Sort of. We have family pets. We have two cats. Oh god, it's all drawers. <laughs> yeah. See, these could be wins if I just had, like, slightly... Slightly more HP on everything. But instead, I don't have that. And they are drawers. And I am upset. Alright. Hmm. Do you work on a radio or something? Your voice fits something like that. No. I kind of like the idea of doing some voice acting, but I have no idea how you even get into that. How old am I? 24. I had to think. Alright. I think we just level it. Or not, actually. Yeah, let's ignore cat. Let's just buy you now. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess I do still do that, actually. <laughs> Uh, steak on this when it's at the front is actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll freeze that. That's not bad to start. I think we're done with cows. Unless I sell my hedgehog, I think the time for cows is over. Dox yourself at 100k stream when? I wouldn't just be doxing myself, though. I'd be doxing, like, my whole family. <laughs> just do that and then move out. Let it be their problem. How much money do I make from live streaming? Uh, very little. I make most of my money through, um... Whatever it's called. Like, ads on videos. But, yeah, streaming's fun. Plus, I kind of use it as, um, recording sessions. It's just, like, live recording sessions. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have, um, you know, view lobby videos if I wasn't streaming for everyone, so... It all fits together. It doesn't really matter where you draw the lines, I think. Uh, there's cows and mammoths and everything now, but I don't want it. What anime would Kino's voice be perfect then? Wow. Imagine. <laughs> Doing voiceovers for animes. Come on, just hit this guy again so it ends it. There we go. Oh, and then he died anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Top four. Wait. We may be able to do this. Uh, how close to end are we? Pretty close. I think I still put like it on there. I want to put it on here, but there's no chance this is going to get big enough for it to make a difference. Yeah, okay. Send it again. So one thing I am thinking is that leveling Hedgehog does make sense, but I still don't want to use chocolate on it because it feels bad. <laughs> it shouldn't because... Like I said, this thing is always going to insta-die. I'm never going to get it big enough for it to actually do favorable trades. And look at that. Actual artillery. It's like a minigun. Which is not artillery, but you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, buy sushi. I refuse to buy cupcakes. Is that my first pizza? Second one, maybe? I think I might have found a pizza fairly early, but considering it's like turn 30, I feel like I have seen a pretty significant lack of pizzas and hedgehogs. Someone should make plushies for all of the characters in Sap. Yo, that's actually a, an interesting thought. Like, do you think they're ever going to do Sap merch? I think like getting some pins or something could be cool. But I like pins, so that's... <laughs> That's probably just me. Oh, it's a draw again. No. <laughs> uh, hold on. Yeah, it's gotta be you. Okay, throw it on there. 
Who's left? This is the team that scares me the most, but... I actually know there's... Yeah, there's two teams with full level threes now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to leave the other stake. I was thinking about throwing a stake on there, but I don't think that does enough for me. Spy you. I just need to get these a little bit more healthy. They're all almost there. They're almost there, but not. Thoughts on spaghetti? I actually used to be a lot bigger fan than I am now. <laughs> oh god, this is going to go until everything's dead. Okay. Uh, I actually might win, though. I don't think my last one's going to get killed by hedgehog deaths. Yeah, cool. All right, one more down. Top three. It's taking forever, but we're kind of getting there. And yes, I will do this. I don't know if it helps or not, but I will do it. You are now above 40 HP. Congratulations. And... I still think I just keep this at the front. It's still just going to die to random spam if I put it any further back. So I might as well get, like, one good hit in on something else before that happens. Do I vape? No. We have an orb. Ah! Wait. You can maybe have an orb after this lobby dies, because I may take my break then. But not mid-match. Gotta have a mid-match orb. Yeah, okay. It's not like I'm doing much else. I might as well do that. And I'm not buying an apple. It's just inefficient. I will level you. Because if I ever do get it to level 3, then I could just give it garlic and it may be able to do some work. Not a ton, because this thing is going to do like 4 damage to everything. But, you know. I wonder if I ever get rid of the hedgehog, though. Maybe that's a strat. <laughs> just keep loading up on massive level 3 blowfish. But I, I think it's too big of a throw, because... It's already very large. How did I find this game? Uh, through Northern Lion, actually. Big fan of Northern Lion, and he <laughs> introduced it to me. I, I swear, like, most of my favorite games I found through content creators that I like. It's always streamers or YouTubers that I'm watching, and it's like, that's how I get my news. <laughs> like, oh, here's a, an interesting game I might like. Hey, he's leveled up. Alright, cool. Half my Steam games are from NL. I actually say, like, my first Steam game was Binding of Isaac, and I remember because I made my account, like, I don't even know, it was like four months before I got my first PC, so I just, like, made it on my phone in preparation for when I got it. And, uh, yeah, I just played a, a ton of Binding of Isaac, Enter the Gungeon, Say the Spy when I first got it. And I think I got all of those from NL. Uh, do I change anything? I'm still just doing what I'm doing, but... <laughs> There's another one. I could try and swap out the Hedgehog, but I don't think it's a good idea. I think we're good without... I think I do try and make you big, because if I can make it bigger... Yeah, I know, I'm gonna leave this, but yeah, if I can make this big enough to maybe survive some random snipes, then I could just give it garlic and move it further back. Wasn't expecting a <laughs> return one. I think he has more HP than me. This might be a loss. But it may also be a draw, depending on where the snipes end up. That's a draw. Yeah, cool. They may all be draws, but we can <laughs> maybe try and break it. I'll give it a few rounds, see how that goes. Alright. Wait, that doesn't even kill us. They killed this one, but... It is very small. Yeah, let's see if this does anything. He lives! Perfect. Okay, wait, this might be a win this time. The stake on here is definitely going to get ruined, but... You know. <laughs> it's like proof of concept. I can now give this garlic and I may be able to do something. Obviously, he may, may also scale up his, um... His frontliner to get better trades himself. Oh god. Oh god, what do I do? <laughs> Help, I'm trapped in whatever this is. I have to scale it a lot to kill that. Or at least like by, you know, five or something, so. So that's on death for now. 
I'm calling it at round 40. If I'm still in the game at round 40, I am selling. I'm selling, and you may have this, because Muffin Man, I feel like we have a very stalematey stale team thing at the moment. The garlic on fourth blowfish. I know, I haven't seen it yet. I still want to buy stat food when it shows up, because that is also going to make a big difference, but... Yeah. Another question is if, is if I can... Um... You know, like, put honey on this or something and keep it alive that way. I feel like the answer is no. Yeah, like, I don't get a lot from... Oh, I don't know. There it is. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we can do that. That is going to be a big help. So we'll see. If things don't turn around, then we prepare for a pivot. I think this is going to be a win, though. Assuming they target, like, specific ones and I end up with one on fairly high HP then I think I can win. But no, it's getting very spread out. No, oh! No, it's still not enough! It's so close! It's so close. Uh... 38. Damn. How do you get a mouse out of your house? I was gonna say get cats, but... Cats are the reason why we have mice in the house, so... Well, you know, dead mice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just scare it and then it won't move. Burn the house? Yeah, just move. Move. Make, make it be someone else's problem. <gasps> A win? Wait. Wait. <laughs> Turn 38. Oh my god, that was a long lobby, but... It did end. We escaped. Uh, pretty nice looking team, to be honest. Like, not as amazing as I thought a turn 40 team would look like, but there we go. <laughs>